Hi, I'm Barry Johnston. I'm here to talk about a very simple solar water pasteuriser that could save lives in the tropics. It's got interesting characteristics. It's intended to be virally deployed. That means it gets copied and copied and copied without much external intervention. Um, it's flow-through, which means that it doesn't need to have pumps or it doesn't work in batches, which need people to constantly attend it. Um, it's solar thermal in the sense that it uses the heat of the sun and it pasteurizes water. That means it heats water to 75 to 80 degrees, which is the temperature which kills pathogens, things that can cause disease, bacteria, viruses, uh, protozoa and worms. Here's a, a concept diagram. It's locally made, virally deployed, renewable energy, and it's an appropriate technology. It's appropriate to the communities. In other words, it can be sourced and made fairly easily. And by producing clean drinking water and by being copied regularly, it could save many thousands of lives per year. It has two tanks. At the top one, you put the unsafe biocontaminated water, and that then flows through a solar panel, which is cool at the bottom and hot at the top. And at the very top, there's a valve. That valve is called a thermostatic valve, and it closes at 75 degrees and opens at 80 degrees to let the water through. That means that only when the water is hot enough to have the bugs killed does it actually flow through to the tank at the bottom, which is where the water is stored for use. Inside it is a heat exchanger called a counterflow heat exchanger, which means that the water goes in cool, comes out cool, and you can get much higher flow rates as a consequence. So how do you build it? Well, you can turn an existing metal roof into one. First you need to insulate it below with straw or foam. That stops the heat from getting downwards. Then you tape some silicone pipe. That's a food grade pipe which you can get in dairies onto it. A big zigzag of it all the way up like in the diagram. Halfway up in the top loop you fit the thermostatic valve which only opens when the water is hot enough to kill the bugs. You then put a second sheet of black, moving black roofing metal on top of it all because black heats the sun rays. It catches the sun's rays, and to stop heat from escaping from the whole thing, you insulate it with some double glazing or single glazing glass or polycarbonate with an air gap below. You then fill all the gaps around the sides with insulating materials so that you don't get heat loss. And finally, you plumb, in it, plumb it in externally with the top tank for the unsafe water and the lower tank for the safe water. So how does it work? Well, you fill the top tank with river water or pond water that contains disease-causing pathogens. The sun comes out, it heats the pasteuriser whenever it shines. And if the water inside wasn't allowed to flow, it would actually boil inside one of these things. But instead of boiling, when the water inside gets heated to 80 degrees, the thermostatic valve opens and it flows through and down from the top tank through the panel into the lower tank, where the clean water is then collected for drinking. The valve doesn't need any external power, and it automatically shuts when the water is below 75 degrees, just as the flow doesn't need external power apart from you putting it in the top tank and gravity then feeding it through when the panel gets hot enough, but not before. The bottom of the panel and part of the way up contains a counterflow heat exchanger with pipes running close and in parallel to each other, which recover heat from the in outgoing water. So that cool water goes into the panel, cool water comes out, and it gets heated up inside the panel only, so you don't have hot water or tepid water to drink. When the sun is too dull to operate the pasteuriser, that's usually because it's raining, and you can collect rainwater instead of river water or pond water to drink because at those times the pond or river water um, can be replaced with cleaner water from the rain. The mission of this is big. And I'd like you to think if you or someone you know can join me. I want to deliver large amounts of clean drinking water in the tropics using this Cinderella technology. It's forgotten, not very sexy, nor is diarrhoea, but it will save lives. This solar thermal water pasteuriser is potentially extremely safe, very reliable, low cost, locally made, and if all those can be batched together then it can be copied and virally deployed without an external intervention of any significant amount, apart from maybe some language-free videos on YouTube to show people. And that way it could save, save many thousands of lives. In a subsequent video I can show you just how many. And it can create sustainable new jobs. Do you like the idea? Well, here's a little bit more detail. This is an appropriate technology, one that's appropriate to the communities that are going to be owning and building it and operating it. It's going to deliver massive health and other benefits by using renewable energy, which is free and zero cost. 
If it's correctly designed and well deployed, and I think it can be, I've been involved in the solar business for 15 years and have sold thousands of solar thermal collectors that I've designed myself. And if it's deployed virally, it could save many thousands of lives a year. It's a solar thermal water pasteurizer, which is made locally at low cost. It's powered by the sun, at zero operating costs. That's how it's solar. It's thermal. It uses solar heat, not electricity or ultraviolet, to kill the pathogens. It pasteurizes water, kills them, making them safe to drink, just as you drink pasteurized orange juice many, many times a year. It's made locally with minimal skills or materials as barriers for this. It's local skills and local materials. Low cost with minimal cost barrier to deployment. And if that package can be brought together, it will save lives by preventing waterborne diseases such as diarrhea and many more. Here's another example of a possible design um, where the heat exchanger is not in the silver panel but externally and this is being dis deployed already by some Swiss companies and this was designed by a, well it's certainly this is a diagram from the National Renewable Energy Laboratories in the United States. Solar water pasteurizers aren't new but they're mainly high-tech imported ones to developing countries. I don't want to do that. I want something that is copied, pirated if you like, locally. So will this viral deployment work? I hope it will. And the next video is about the concept of viral deployment. Thank you from Barry Johnston.